Whenever you use two solid wires, you're going to use wire nuts to connect them. If you're going to use two stranded wires and you're trying to splice two stranded wires together, you're going to use some type of crimper. In this case, I have stranded wire coming from the, the projector screen motor and I've got solid core wire coming from my switch. So the best way to do this is going to be, see look at that, I just pulled on it and the wire came right out. The best way to do this, to connect these things forever, is going to be to tin them, to uh, solder them together. That's what that hissing sound is. That hissing is my gas soldering iron. So I've got this thing disconnected. I'm going to take this apart and I'll show you guys how to do it. Now, some people just try to like put a little solder on the end of their soldering iron and then um, uh, try to get that little bit of melted solder onto their wire. It doesn't work like that. So what you do is you, you strip the wires, twist them together, just kind of like what I did there. See the copper wires, the green and the copper? Twist them together. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold my soldering iron onto the wires. Really simple. I'm going to get those things really hot. When the wires are really hot, I just touch the solder to it on the wire, not my soldering iron. And the wire will take up the solder. You close the wire. You got the wire. solder. Almost there. There we go. You that? Yeah, you With the wires soldered together, now I'm going to put a wire nut on top just to give a little more protection over it. You can use heat shrink if you want. Okay. Since this motor is going to be running, this is going to be vibrating slightly. Over years, these, these wires might have a tendency, these wire nuts might have a tendency to back themselves off. Um, if you're worried about that, which I kind of am, you can put some tape around these wire nuts to help them, help hold them in place. It's going to make the wires a little gooey if you ever want to work on it, but it's probably worth it not to have the wires come out.